What's going on my fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here and today we are talking about some new information about Red Dead Redemption 2. So if you do enjoy the video, make sure you guys drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here, and let's waste no more time and let's jump right into it. So from recent posts, it sounds like Arthur Morgan will be able to go ahead and craft and crafting in the game is an option. Now we've heard about this in the past where we've had the opportunity to hear more about the crafting system in Red Dead Redemption 2 and it mainly pertained to tools, ammo, and lures but now new information has arisen that we may be able to craft weapons. Now I don't know how accurate this is but this is over on the Red Dead Redemption 2 Reddit curated by the moderators of Red Dead Redemption 2 and it seems like it might be pretty accurate. Having the ability to go ahead and craft weapons ammo tools and lures is always a plus and i want to see how this works out because it may not mean when it says weapons you can actually craft like revolvers you may be able to craft weapons like a spear or uh, an arrow or a bow things of that nature that you can go ahead and use for hunting but not necessarily like large rifles or revolvers so we don't know what that weapons category pertains to but if you can craft revolvers at some kind of blacksmith of some sort that'd be very interesting and let me know your thoughts on that if that's even possible what do you think do you think that's a good idea or do you think that's a bad idea next really weird piece of information is coming in that arthur can sit anywhere that there is a chair so if you see a chair anywhere in the map you can sit on that chair which is super weird like i don't even know how someone would be like oh you know it'd be really cool information that people want to see the fact that arthur morgan can sit on any chair he wants hey regardless i'm here to provide it for you guys we have a dope list here so that is coming in at number two <laughs> Number three is coming in at uh, uh, plants that can be picked up throughout the world that can be used in different recipes in cooking. So if you guys didn't know, you are able to cook. Arthur Morgan is a, an experienced chef in Red Dead Redemption 2, and you're able to cook. And with these cooking abilities, you can also use different types of recipes that you have to your, ex to your disposal. And you can go ahead and use different plants you find throughout the world to go ahead and make, I guess, master recipes or different types of uh, goods and, and delicious edibles. Number Number four is coming in with an informational, I guess, bullet point that pertains to hunting. And I guess when you're free roaming, uh, animals can actually smell. So if you are upwind of an animal, they're either going to get scared or they're going to approach you to try to kill you. So an example, let's say Arthur has not showered. Uh, maybe he has showered, but he has some kind of cologne on or he just had some kind of food that is, uh, you know, unleashing some kind of aroma to the environment well animals can actually smell arthur so if it's a bear and it is an aggressive bear or an alligator or something that can go ahead and cause damage to you or bodily harm these animals will go ahead and hunt you if that's their type of if that's the type of animal that they are i'm pretty sure bears are non-aggressive animals so they smell you they'll run away but you never know if you go ahead and get too close to their cubs they might go ahead and take you down. Moving into other bullet points in this commentary that discuss something that we've already discussed in this video is that Arthur is a very accomplished cook and can cook a variety of different dishes and those dishes can also have improvements, which those improvements come with the different plants that you find throughout the world. So let's say you have a bomb pasta you can make. Well, over time, you can add to that pasta with different recipes, ingredients, to make it even better that may go ahead and may fill you up quicker than the, than the original pasta recipe. It sounds so crazy that I'm even saying this, but it's a, it's a thing that's coming in Red Dead Redemption. Like this game sounds so deep, it's crazy. One fun fact that has recently gone ahead and circulated all over Twitter and various news sources is the fact that dialogue changes if you have the mini map turned off. Now think about that for a second. If you have the mini map turned off in Red Dead Redemption 2, when having conversations with NPCs around you, their dialogue actually changes. Instead of you going to a waypoint on your minimap, they'll actually go ahead and tell you, hey, the way to get to this next waypoint or this location is to go ahead and follow this road and look out for these landmarks. The exact text reads, dialogue changes if the minimap is turned off. NPCs give directions to locations instead of a marker being placed on your minimap. So instead of a marker being placed, these NPCs are now going out of their way and saying, hey, follow this road. Uh, the dirt road then changes into the desert. The desert road on your right side, you'll see cactuses. On your left side, you'll see a large mountain, but you have to look for the big hill in between the mountain and the 
cactuses to make sure you're at the right spot. Like that's exactly like, well, not exactly how it will be done, but an example to how crazy this game is. Like I've mentioned before in previous videos, I am extremely excited for Red Dead Redemption 2. And it's, I think it's going to be everything that we've all been waiting for when it comes to a survival free roam game that has a really deep story and a great great combat mechanic i don't think any point in this game you're gonna be like man i am so tired of this game because there's gonna be so much to do and right after this game is released we are receiving the online version which is red dead online which is coming one month in beta so it's gonna be a really really exciting process to see how this game does at the end of 2018 it might even be up for game of the year so in the comment section let me know what you guys think do you think Red Dead Redemption 2 will be winning game of the year? I really hope so. Let me know in the comment section what you think. With the information you have provided already, what more can we be excited for than Red Dead Redemption 2? My name is Garrett, better known as Outlaw Gary here on my Red Dead Redemption 2 channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new upload. Later, guys.